Hello my family members. Today is the third class of cognitive assessment preparation for any company like Accenture, TCS, NQT and Cognizant, Wipro etc. Today we are going to solve 5 most repeatedly asked questions from percentage and we will discuss the theory as well. If you have not been watching the playlist uh, regarding preparation, kindly watch that. Link is given in the description box. If you are preparing for any off-campus or on-campus drive, then please subscribe the channel so that you can be updated, right? Okay, let's move to the questions. This is the type 1 question that are being asked repeatedly. At first, I am solving the problem. Uh, after that, I will give a problem to you. Just solve this and comment it down. Okay. In the similar way, there are many questions asked. So, if you, if you think this question as a template, and you will get many problem from your cognitive assessment, right? So, the problem is stating that the price of mobile is reduced by 40 percent the new price is reduced by further 25 percent the two reduction together are equal to a single reduction of what so in this type of problem this is actually called successive reduction or successive increment problem percentage problem right so here if any any type of percentage increasing or decreasing uh, then the resultant increment or decrement will be like this way let's say a percentage increased and or decreased and b percentage increased or decreased so what will be the resultant or effective percentage increment or decrement the answer will be plus minus a plus plus minus b plus plus minus a multiplied with plus minus b by 100 right just note that formula so that it will never be forgotten right so the according to the statement at first the mobile uh, price is reduced by 40 percent that means a is reducing by 40 percent 40 percent and then the next price is again decreasing by 25 percent so decreasing by 25 percent that means both are decreasing it can be uh, increasing or decreasing both or individually increasing or decreasing it will be same like uh, like i am doing okay so i am removing the Okay, no, 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 I should not remove that. Just look at here. Here, the value is decreasing at first 40. That means A is decreasing. It is minus 40. And according to formula, we have to give plus and the value after 40 percent decrement it will again decrement by 25 percent so it we will again give minus 25 right minus 25 and plus now a decrement of 40 multiply with a decrement with minus 25 right why i am giving minus in the first of 40 and 25 i hope you have got this because it is decreasing it is reducing if if, if it would have been uh, increment then we will have given here uh, a plus right i mean here here or here will have been given uh, a plus right but we will not give because it is saying that decrement right so what we will do we'll just simply calculate the value right so here minus and minus will be plus 
and 25 and 100 will be cut cut out so 4 will remain 4 and 40 will cut out with uh, the 10 will remain so here minus 20, 40 and minus 25 that is minus 65 plus 10 right so this will be uh, 55 minus 55 right minus 55 so i hope you have got the answer right so uh, total a uh, resultant or effective uh, decrement is 55 percent all total 55 percent will be decreased on the value if you think that 40 percent decreasing and 25 percent decreasing again that means 65 percent decreasing all total no, this is not this is incorrect it is actually decreasing in uh, effective uh, decrement that is 55 percent right and another problem no okay i think uh, this is okay but another problem for you that is here this is your task to solve the problem by your own and nurture your brain right here it is telling that a number is decreased by 20 percent and then increased by 15 percent the number so obtained is 20 less than the original number just uh, do a operation here like the plus minus a plus minus b operation uh, in this side and after equal uh, this uh, operation just uh, 20 less than the original number the original number uh, let's say uh, assume that that as x and just calculate here this portion and the decrement increment part and uh, calculate before the is equal okay so i hope you will solve the problem in your by your own okay i am not solving it is quiz for you okay i am forwarding this is a type 2 problem here it is saying that in a store the prices of items changed the price of cooking oil rose by 25 percent by how much percent must a person reduce his consumption of cooking oil so that his expenditure on it does not increase so he does not want to increase his expenditure uh, so he has to reduce his consumption on cooking oil so in this in this type of problem actually uh, this is called read uh, product consistency uh, right so this is this is type 2 problem so in this type of problem there could be two path like uh, you could have been asked two type of problem here uh, that is reduction in consumption or in uh, increase increment in consumption there are similar type of problem and uh, you will identify by your own that this is the same type of problem after watching this video right so let's find the theory at first whenever whenever uh, it, 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 if any type of decrement or increment like let's say we are increasing at first any values by r percent right if we increase the value of uh, any thing r percent then we have to reduct in consumption reduction in consumption will be the formula is 100 into r by 100 plus r if increment in any value then we have to reduction in consumption this right so let's check the solution here at first then we will uh, see the type 2 problem inside this type 2 problem okay so here the value that means the price of cooking oil increased by 25 percent that means r is equal to 25 so how much reduction we should uh, reduction in consumption so we'll just put the values into the formula so 100 into r r means 25 and 100 plus r means 100 plus 25 is 125 so 25 and 125 will cut out and 5 and 100 will cut out so the value is 20 right so 
so that how much percent must a person reduce his consumption that is 20 percent if he con if he reduce his consumption then he he has not to increase his expenditure okay so i hope you have got this type of problem and uh, you you are you are now able to solve any type of problem like this okay so just let me remove this i hope you have taken the note so i am removing all of this okay the next type of problem that is if any value is decreasing by r percent then increment increment in consumption will be r into 100 by r into 100 by r minus 100 right so this is the formula for um, formula for solution if r percent decreased right and we have to increment in any consumption or like this okay so just uh, i have a problem for you solve by your own i will not give any hint to this question just solve this question and nurture your win as fast as possible okay so i am just forwarding to the next type of problem asked in the inter asked in the assessment here it is a uh, type 3 problem so here it is telling that uh, number x is mistakenly divided by 25 instead of being multiplied by 25 what is the percentage error in result so what will be the answer just uh, let me clarify that in this type of problem uh, it is necessary to know a formula that is if any fault or error inside a calculation then the actual percentage of error is equal to actual percentage of error is equal to actual number actual sorry actual num minus the incorrect number incorrect number by actual number my handwriting is not good right just uh, i hope you have got my um, voice and you have written in your exercise book actual number minus incorrect number by actual number this is percentage of error right percentage of error so in this uh, formula if you have put the values of this then you will get the solution okay so what will be the solution of this question let's see that here let 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 the number be 100x right it is our uh, our assumption that the primary number is 100x okay and by mistake what we have done we have actually divided by 25 by mistake right by mistake that is the incorrect one right incorrect it is mistake so mistake is we have divided the number by 25 so the incorrect one is 100 x by 25 so this will be 4 x right and what was the actual number it was supposed to be it was actually supposed to be multiplied by 25 so it is the actual number it should be so actual number is 25 multiplied by 100 x so 100 into 25 that means 2500 x so we just have to put the value inside the formula so actual num minus incorrect num actual num is 2500 x 
2500x and the incorrect num is 4x by actual num actual means 2500x so uh, this will be your actual uh, the value i am not calculating the value here just so after calculating this value whatever will be the answer just write it here right just write it here right okay i'm not uh, actually this will take a time so i will not solve okay i have a problem statement for you just solve the problem a man made a silly mistake of multiplying the number by 5 by 7 instead of 7 by 5 what is the percentage error in the calculation in the same way fully same way you can solve the problem just put the values into the formula you will get the answer right okay let's go towards the next type of problem uh, the population of a village has increased annually at the rate of 25 percent if at the end of three years it is 10,000, the population in the beginning of the first year was what guys this is also a very common and often asked question and this is a template question and this will be uh, actually can be asked in another form it will be asked in like the oil and the whole oil inside the hole the water will falling from will be falling from the hole this type of problem will also be there you can solve the problem if you can solve this problem right so just uh, let know the theory at first then we will go towards the solution part right so in this type of problem that means the population of village if increased or decreased or like that so what will be the formula for this type of problem the formula is that population population after n years it could have been asked uh, three four five years okay so population after n years will be p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n here r is the increment or decrement of the annual population and n is the year number of year and p is the primary population right so in this formula we will just put the values of the problem so just put the value and you will get the answer here p is equal to 10,000 right and 1 plus r by 100 means 25 by 100 right so 25 by 100 is 1 by 4 and to the power n means n is equal to 3 n is equal to 3 right so 10,000 in uh, multiplied with this so 5 by 4 just calculate this 10,000 multiplied with 5 by 4 5 q by 4 that means uh, 4q this will be 5q by 4q 4q means uh, 16 64 just calculate this guys I am not calculating in this session uh, this will increase the um, time of this uh, of this video I hope I could teach you a little about percentage if you think this video makes value to your career kindly support me sharing the playlist with your friends let me join as i hope i could teach you a little bit about percentage if you think this video makes value to your career kindly support me by sharing the playlist with your friends let them join as well
and get the job to all together right you know i hope you have already subscribed my channel let's practice more and more right thank you